every creature. Welcome to DAG. As always, this is your host, Drada Arcana. And tonight on Drada Talks, tonight's podcast is about the uh, My Little Pony uh, Season 9, Episode 2. I mean, not Episode 2, Episode 3. Uh, the non-premiere. <laughs> wow, I messed that up terribly. Um, anyways, guys, uh, t- tonight we're going to be talking about Episode 3, uh, Uprooted. Okay, so first things first, there will be spoilers in this video. So if you're looking to do any of your blind reactions or um, you're looking to do your own review and you don't want to be spoiled and you don't and you haven't watched the episode yet, Please turn back now. I don't want to ruin it for you because Drada is such a nice guy. <laughs> but there are spoilers ahead. All right, with that out of the way, let's look at what we're kind of going to be looking at. I do this criteria as much as I can because it's so important. We're looking at fandom response, characters, music, History and mythology, overall story. These are my general criteria when looking at stuff in the episode. The one of the things that I don't like criticizing is things that make no sense for a kid's show. So you might notice this, Main Six, Tree of Harmony, Magic, Cutie Mark Matt. Okay, the first two are nearly, like, this number two is nearly impossible But let me clarify, maybe some people have been confused about in my earlier podcasts and reviews about what I mean by the Tree of Harmony. What I mean by the Tree of Harmony is is that I'm not going to talk about how overpowered the uh, elements of harmony are. I don't go into the analysis of, you know, does the tree, you know, have a conscience? Does it... um, You know, what is the magic of the Tree of Harmony? Uh, What's its, you know, base stuff? I don't want to go into that because it's a very convoluted topic and very controversial. And I try to stay away from opinions on this. So, and when it comes to the main six, things like um, how they're overpowered in their areas or, you know, the magic that they use and, and stuff. I'm not analyzing their abilities as much as looking at their character and how they're represented in the episode is what i would look at so this the first two kind of tie into number three and i definitely don't want to go into things like hey they have a friendship quest by the cutie mark map it's like okay well that's in the episode so we're not going to analyze how the cutie mark map works so I'm not I'm not trying to question the what gamers would call the mechanics of the different magics as much as I look at what it adds to the episode. Okay, I wanted to get that off my chest because maybe some people were confused what I meant by this criteria. All right, so uprooted starts with it being a dream of the new main sex. So you got Silverstream, Ocellus, Yona. Sandbar, Gallus, and Smolder all having like a combined dream, which usually would be Luna's ability, but it turns out that the Tree of Harmony brought them into this dream to tell them that it needs their help. So that's how the episode starts. Then, so after the, of course, the intro, uh, the new main six. Uh, go ahead and uh, return to school. And Twilight, of course, is freaking out that she only has 20 highlighters. Typical Twilight. She's going to freak out that she doesn't have enough supplies with plenty of time left for the school year to happen and so forth. Um, so what ends up happening is, is that she starts freaking out because why are the new main six here? She was worried that she had... Uh, sent out the wrong school date or whatever, but they told her that the Tree of Harmony called us here. And she just says blatantly that the Tree of Harmony is gone. It couldn't have done that. Well, we don't know. But anyways, that, that so Twilight freaks out. 
So the, the new main six want to go see the tree. And the, the Twilight warns them that as long as they stick together, they can go see the tree. So they go see the tree and see that it's destroyed. Borak, of course, shows up to be like, Oh, Celis, why'd you leave all of a sudden? The last time you did this, you nearly started an international war. <sighs> nice callback, but still. Um, so that leads Twilight to say as long as they get permission from their kingdoms to come back to school early to do this, fine. So they go, So then we see, you know, the different things that the new main sex have to do to uh, get their approval. Uh, Gallus just, like, goes to Grandpa Gruff and it's like Grandpa Gruff just doesn't seem to care. Just signs it and, slap, and slaps it into his beak. Um, Silverstream gives a whole drawing presentation. Um, Ocellus... Ocellus really just ends up talking to her family. Yona ends up doing a bunch of chores, and Smolder has to win an arm wrestling match against Charcoal? Okay. Uh, that's, I guess, how dragons get permission, is you, sh you show that you're, you know, the toughest and stuff, which makes sense for dragons, but still, it's like, okay. So, and of course, Sambar lives close to the tree, because he lives in Ponyville, so it's like, he doesn't really have to travel. So they all get back, and Sandbar had cleaned out the cave. So now the Tree of Harmony was gone from the cave, and they're all just like, what have you done? So what they decided to do was that each one of them, except Yona, wanted to approach the situation and remember the tree in their own way. So... Gallus was like, we need a museum, and he starts making up stories about the tree, which, ugh, I don't even want to think about that, but anyways, um, Ocellus, you know, wants it to be like a place to meditate, Sambar wants to plant a new tree to remember the Tree of Harmony, so he actually plants an actual tree. Uh, Silverstream wants to do conceptual art. I love that. Silverstream is such the artist. Um, and, of course, Yona is staying out of it. And all, and all of a sudden, you know, everything goes to... Basically, everything falls apart. And Yona finally says, You all forgot what the tree you you were all trying to remember what the tree was not what is and that is some real wisdom because the because the elements of harmony live in them supposedly um supposedly that's what yona was trying to say was the tr the purpose behind the tree lives in them and they needed to reflect on that so of course yona finds the missing pieces of the Tree of Harmony, which, of course, Sandbar couldn't move very far because it was heavy. I mean, obviously. And, of course, they look at him like, why didn't you mention this? And it's like, well, you know. So what ends up happening is, is that we get a really, really catchy song um, to listen to them sing as they build this treehouse. Of course, the treehouse ends up being... You know, the moment they try to get into the treehouse that they built, they're really, really happy and they're super excited. All of a sudden, a magical burst and uh, the Tree of Harmony be turns into a giant house, which I'm not going to speculate about future episodes with it. But Twilight, of course, feels the magical energy from the school because, you know, she's connected to the Tree of Harmony. So, of course, you know, she'd feel it, obviously. So, the, so Twilight comes and says... You know, they're, they're all speculating over the Tree of Harmony being now this giant house. So it's like, okay, it's supposed to be a safe place for, you know, every creature when 
whenever you feel threatened or whatever, it'll be a safe place for every creature. Great. Um, and of course, uh, Twilight says, why don't we go in together? And that's the episode. So, okay. I know that I go through the, the overall story really, really quickly. And I do that intentionally because I do want to talk a little bit more about this. My initial thoughts on the episode is, well, first let's talk about the music. The, the song we got for the first song that we got with vocals of the, you know, the first vocals of the season. Honestly, it's a pretty good song. I had stated in, of course, my season nine podcast that one of the things that needs to hook me immediately is the music from the get-go. Um, I And the song was catchy enough for me to really like the episode. And that was kind of important. That was the draw-in for me. I, I wasn't really entirely invested in, like, the very beginning of the episode. But that song makes it worth it. <laughs> You know, it's just such a good song about working together and, and everything. It's just, it, 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 it caught me in the feels. It really, really did. I nearly cried during the song myself. Um, I, I really enjoyed that musical number. With that, I like that they're focusing on the new main six and giving them a connection with the Tree of Harmony. Now... Them getting this house, but supposedly the house is for every creature, um, it's whatever. You know, they're going to get this tree house and that's it. You know, we can speculate all day about what its actual purpose is. Honestly, I'm just going to leave it there because I don't want to criticize, you know, mysterious magics within Equestria. That's for another video. Um... I do like how it was very focused on the new main six. I like that they followed up from the premiere. It seems like that they're taking a lot of the stuff from the premiere or, you know, the stuff that they've been running with for the last two seasons and actually trying to make something out of it. It, it just felt like uh, season eight had a lot to be desired for the new main six. And it and this episode really gives us character development out of them and everything and still give us you know twilight and spike and everything a lot of good lines the actors and actresses look like that they had a blast recording this episode um it, it always feels like that a lot of work was put into these episodes and i do like that about the show and all in all it was a good episode of restoring the tree of harmony that kind of what it was sort of about and that's what i felt like since like the get-go they don't make it very cryptic that that's what the episode is about about restoring the tree of harmony they don't have any um misconceptions about it from the get-go and it removes kind of the mystery a little bit but i do like where the episode went it was nice to see, you know, the thinking behind uh, the new main sex or the young main sex as apparently they're supposed to be labeled. Um, and seeing that, you know, seeing what the different kingdoms require to sign a permission form is very interesting too. It, it really speaks to their cultures and stuff and, and I feel like that you're trying to do more with the different kingdoms and it's nice to see some uh, callbacks to other episodes like Ocellus turning into a dragon um, back in the premiere of season 8 we had that happen and it's nice to see them capitalize on stuff they've already done and where they're going and, and i like that part of the storytelling even though i still feel like that they ran with what was left of the story bible and they're just doing what they can with what they got and it's nice to see that good writing is still coming out of it good music 
honestly, these first three episodes of season nine have been phenomenal for me. Um, and probably for all of you, too. And it's been impressive, uh, the amount of dedication that's gone into these episodes. I am super happy for these episodes because I, I feel like that we're getting a very, very powerful season so far. And I hope that they continue that. And I hope that they dedicate their time to this because this is the last season and it's turning out to meet some of my expectations so far, but it's not exceeding them at the moment. I still feel like that there's a lot of questions that still need to be answered. I was a little worried uh, when they destroyed the Tree of Harmony, how they were going to bring it back. I was a little worried about Grogar returning and stuff, which, um, you know, if you're watching this episode and you haven't seen the premiere, sorry. Um, but I, I think that what they're, th this is a good episode. And I like that they restore the tree and maybe it has some significance later on. Maybe it's related to Grogar or, you know, everything else. I can speculate all I want. Well, we will know towards the end probably of season nine where things are going. So I'm not going to bother to speculate. But it's nice to see them do more stuff with the young six. And it definitely looks like that the new actors and actresses have had a blast with these characters. And you can see it in the acting, in the interactions and stuff. So I'm super excited to see what the next episode has to offer. And of course, guys, um, I don't really have too much more to say on it. I mean, it, it that's pretty much all I had to say. And I think overall, we've got a good episode here. Not as good as the premiere, maybe, but, you know, this is still a very, very solid episode. And I don't have too many gripes because I'm not trying to criticize the show as much as trying to cover, you know, all the positives. Because you have to look at it as a kid's show. It's a kid's show. There's going to be things that don't make sense to adults. <laughs> and you can try to reason as much as you want, but you're never going to meet those reasons. And me personally, as a family movie type of person and me loving family movies and animated films and stuff i don't try to put reason behind complicated matters obviously you know many of you might disagree with me and i should probably analyze the tree of harmony at this point but it's nice to see how they're taking everything that they've done and they've really mastered um, the new animation and the style. And it's looking great. Honestly, I'm excited to see what comes out next. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. And as always, if you're looking to contact me, you can contact me via drada.arcana at gmail.com or you can contact me via Drada Arcana Gaming on Facebook. If you're looking for this or any of my other content, you can check my Twitch channel, mostly my YouTube. And, uh... No but Drada comments, and as always, this is your host, Drada Arcana, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, every pony and every creature.